I can't just get up and <laughs> if I were to try to stand up at a certain angle, it's lightning crotch. Good morning. What? Why are you working today? Are you about to do the closet today? Well, after I work out. <laughs> Okay, then you better go work out right now. We could get rid of the wire rack. Oh, you want it to be nicer shelves? Well, I mean, I don't know. What do you envision? Because well, I don't know. Do this kind of wire racking shelf. Oh, so you want shelves up here and then right here, right? Yeah. Okay. White shelves. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to try to do that later. Woohoo! Have a good run and work out. All right, time for me to get ready. My hair is all poofy. Up like this and I pamper myself I feel like a brand new rejuvenated woman and I really needed this guys we deserve to treat ourselves and spend time for ourselves and this does a trick for me what do you guys do to treat yourselves it's, it's time to pull down the diaper bag this is great this is how long it's been look how dusty it is i haven't packed a diaper bag in so many years today's the day i'm actually curious to see what's in here today's vlog is sponsored by avent but thank you so much avent for partnering with me i'm so excited to try your bottles because juliana she was a very colicky baby and as a first time mom i was freaking out because every time she would spit up i remember feeling like i lost as a mom especially Especially when it's your breast milk when it's like it's your liquid gold you know <laughs> so how are we gonna do this you guys my feet are still swollen I ordered some compression socks so hopefully that comes in today it's not cute having this edema I got a wet towel it's like wipe off all the dust I'm all about recycling reusing my old stuff this is perfect and dun 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 just like that it's like brand new that's just so weird i'm gonna be starting from scratch and now that i'm an experienced mom i feel like i know what's essential and i won't be overpacking my diaper bag because i've done that before as a mom you're busy enough you don't need that extra weight on your shoulders literally so let's start off with baby bottles and like i mentioned earlier juliana was a colicky baby it was really difficult for me so i'm going to be using the phillips evan anti-colic bottle with air free vent and it's designed so your baby swallows less air during feeding so when you're feeding your baby upright the nipple stays full with milk so there's not going to be any air that the baby's swallowing therefore the baby won't be spitting up because that is the worst <laughs> especially when it's your breast milk because mama's breast milk is basically liquid gold no it's it's more than liquid gold it's like priceless <laughs> so we'll see if baby l is colic if that's the case this is a bottle that i am going to be using i also do plan on breastfeeding but with my experience for actually all my babies i didn't produce enough milk I breastfed up until six months, but even then I introduced formula because I was like, I don't know, I felt like my babies weren't getting enough of my milk. So I am going to be doing formula. So even if I'm, oh my gosh, it's so weird. Like I felt my boobs tingle just thinking about it. <laughs> A woman's body is so fascinating. Another bottle I'm really excited about is the Philips Avid Natural Baby Bottle. And this one is a glass bottle. So I've never had a glass bottle before, but I want to try it. First of all, it is a little more eco-friendly. But what I like about it is the nipple because it is more of a natural feel. It's ultra soft and flexible, so it mimics my nipples. And obviously this will come in handy since I do plan on not only breastfeeding, 
feeding, but also bottle feeding as well. Oh my gosh, my foot's already getting numb. And of course, it's essential to have water, so I'm gonna be adding two water bottles on the sides for easy access. And if I don't have any extra breast milk, I do plan on introducing formula. Actually, as a first time mom with Juliana, I had major mom guilt introducing formula. Like, I don't know why it was instilled with my brain that if you introduce formula, you're not mom enough. Oh my gosh. I hate that I had that kind of mentality. Once I had the twins, that just shot right out the door and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna feed my babies, make sure that they're not going to sleep hungry and I introduced formula. There's nothing wrong with baby formula. This is really neat. This is a must. It's such a genius invention, but basically it's like a container that has three compartments and you pre-measure you pre -measure the formula. When you're on the go, you just open it up and then you pour the formula in the bottle, add the water, and you're good and ready to go. And this one actually came with an Avent bottle kit. It's like a newborn baby gift set which I will have linked below, but it comes with this, it comes with it comes with a bottle sterilizer, and then a bunch of baby bottles. So this is a no-brainer. I have a diaper changing pad, and this time around, I'm going super simple. Before I got like this really bulky one that had a billion pockets and compartments. This time around, it's literally just a changer. And then inside, I have some baby wipes and a few diapers. So I just throw them in like this, and it's good to go. So this is going in my diaper bag. I'm keeping all my baby's clothing essential in a little baggie. Before, I would just throw in the socks and the extra clothes. I would just throw it in, but they would always get lost. So this time around, I'm thinking smart. You know, I'm an experienced mom now. Wait, hold on, I need a break on my foot. My foot is so numb. What do I do? I can't just get up and super essential burp cloths. Burp cloths that will not leak. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. I should also put an extra shirt just for me because that's happened many times where the baby will spit up on me and then I'm not prepared. So I'm gonna throw in just like a regular t-shirt in here. Of course, I mean, this is a no-brainer. The Soothies, I have my Avent Soothies, and this is what the twins and Juliana used when they were newborns. I believe this is the one that they give you in the hospital as well. I have a mini blanket, which is just essential for so many reasons. If you're laying your baby down the ground, it's really thin. So I would also use this if I'm nursing out in public. And it is a thin fleece, so if I needed to use it as a towel, I will. A little toy for the baby to keep it company. There has to be at least one toy in here. And last but not least, snacks for mommy. These are just granola bars. <laughs> so that's what's in my diaper bag. And huge thanks again to Philips Advent for sponsoring this video. This is all a part of the Moms Get Real campaign. You know that I try to keep it as real as possible. As a mom, we have hard times. Especially during these tough times when the kids can't go out as much. I mean, the fact that they didn't even get to finish the school year. And then on top of that, your mommy teacher, I think was the biggest adjustment for me. But you know, we got through it. Definitely the silver lining that I found in all this is that it brought our whole family closer. My kids learned how to do chores. Anyways, I hope all you mamas out there know how much you're loved by your children and hopefully one day they'll look back, realize that they survived these really tough times and a big chunk of it has to be thanks to you. Super moms doing it all. Um, oh, and Benji too. I mean, like, he's been a huge help. A mom's love is a different kind of love to our kids. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of one thing. Aren't those cute? And cow. Yeah, we're gonna wash all that. <laughs> I don't know, you guys had that. There's a burp cloth, that's your spit up. Or I think that's at the JV spit up. How, how did she spit I up? Know. It's so old. Wait, that's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I think in one show that I saw JB wearing this. Mm -hmm. Strawberry. Look at the bump. I know, it's kind of funky looking. Enjoying a nice chill afternoon in our clean home. No, clean. Okay, I take it back. The living room looks like it got played in yeah, and a tornado ran through it. Play. Okay, that's okay. Go ahead, play. Got a busy day today, cleaning Daddy the kitchen. Daddy, 
I'm gonna party. work out. Gonna go to the hardware store, pick up some things for the shelves, get some work in. But first, coffee and yogurt. And I put some fresh strawberries. These are strawberries from the farmer's market, so they are delicious, sweet, fresh. Mm. Oh, freshly brewed coffee, too. Oh, well, that's the first. Well, she's got, she is the queen. Hmm? Why do we see two queens? We've got special delivery, Mama's Bundy Salt. The second batch in I mean, two let's days. Let's start a bakery. Open up the garage. I'll set up some tables. We have French bakery, <laughs> Japanese bakery. We got Filipino bakery. Mm -hmm. His sister's been giving us croissants. His mom's been giving us Nikomon, like Japanese dishes. And even, I think, like ham and cheese bread. It was so good. We had it this morning. And Philippine pandisal. It's like a sweet. It's similar to Hawaiian bread in that they're like sweet rolls. You have this in the morning with coffee or um, like cheese. The kids love this with cheese. I'm gonna have to put this in the freezer though because we have so much bread right now and I don't want it to go to waste. but it's pouring down rain right now. Today's the last day though. Then a whole week of sun. Finally. Oh man. I actually love the rain. I was hoping it'd be raining by the time baby L got here, but anyways, we're good at our night. Excuse me with more Marvel movies. There's so many. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Night night. Night night. Good night. <laughs>